Item Number SCP-894 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All copies of SCP-894-1 and SCP-894-2 are available for researcher use. Copies of SCP-894-3 require permission by a member of senior staff. When not checked out, copies of SCP-894-1 and SCP-894-2 are to be stored in SCP Containment Locker 12 at Site-19. Copies of SCP-894-3 are to be stored in Containment Locker 47. There are to be only two keys to Locker 47, one for the Site Director and one for the most senior researcher on site. Both key holders must be present in order for Locker 47 to be opened. Only Level 4 researchers are allowed access to SCP-894-3. SCP-894-1, 2, and 3 are a number of small plastic monkeys, each set with a slightly different mold. SCP-894-1 is molded so that the monkey's hands are covering its mouth. SCP-894-2 is shaped in such a way that the monkey's hands are covering its ears. SCP-894-3 is shaped in such a way that the monkey's hands are covering its eyes. On the bottom of each copy is stamped, The Factory. Copies of SCP-894 are easily destroyed, whether through brute strength or applied heat. When any living being within 5 meters of SCP-894-1 makes visual contact with a specimen, they are rendered incapable of vocalization for a period of 24 hours. In humans, function of the vocal cords has been observed to continue during this time, and operation of the tongue and jaw is uninhibited, except during a conscious attempt to produce language or other meaningful sound. In addition, speech processing and written forms of communication are unimpaired. It has therefore been concluded that the effect is sourced in those areas of the brain associated with speech production. It has been shown that subjects suffering from severe visual agnosia or are otherwise incapable of identifying SCP-894-1 are unaffected. The first instance of SCP-894-1 was found hanging outside the complaint office of There are currently seven copies of SCP-894-1 in Foundation hands. When any living being comes within five meters of SCP-894-2 and becomes visually aware of said SCP, they lose all ability to hear for 24 hours. Copies of SCP-894-2 have most often been found in anarchist groups, who seem to delight in placing said SCP in public places, such as churches, schools, and places of business. Task Force Lambda-3, no given nickname, is devoted to tracking down these groups and liberating all instances of SCP-894-2. The Foundation currently has 12 copies of SCP-894-2. When any living being comes within 5 meters of SCP-894-3 and becomes visually aware of said SCP, they lose all ability to see for 24 hours. SCP-894-3 was first encountered in the hands of a serial rapist, now known as D-894. There is no evidence at this time whether SCP-894-3 was made in smaller batches than SCP-894-1 and SCP-894-2, or if the current owners of copies of SCP-894-3 are simply better at hiding its uses. The Foundation currently has two copies of SCP-894-3. Use of instances of SCP-894 by research staff and D-Class personnel to prevent the effects of objects possessing visual, vocal, or auditory triggers, such as SCP-1752, SCP-1753, and SCP-2599 respectively, has proven effective means of facilitating ongoing containment. 